Hello everybody, my name is Baby Dino, I am back and I am playing Backbone. Uh, now this game was released about uh, a year ago on Steam, so I did want to play it back then, but things happened and well, I'm doing it now, so hey yo. Uh, I will say that I have played a little bit of it uh, the other day and I thought I was recording it for you guys to see, but uh, I had technical issues. In other words, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. So without any further ado, let's get back into it now. The game is, is sort of like a uh, detective noir sort of deal, but with, you know, animals. If you can't tell by the giant humanoid animals you can see on the screen. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's, let's do this. Now, I will admit, the graphics are amazing. Look at that! It's, it really looks amazing. I mean, well done to whoever made this. You can try and find it on Steam if you can. <gasps> oh no! He's interrupting his bath time! How dastardly! You know, you, you want to... Okay, uh, I'll try and do voices. Don't hate me if they're not the same. Sorry, I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 20... Just enough time to clean up. I don't know why I went with a slightly southern drawl, but I don't know. It sort of works for me. I don't know why. Uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so yeah, this is this is my pad. This is where I, I do my work and I play some games. Uh, it's a bachelor pad, I'll have you know. I mean, I take them over here to the board and I show them gruesome pictures of crime scenes. They go mad for it. As in, they run screaming and go out the front door. So let's insurance frauds, lost cars, strange lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Good to know. Inspect my desk. Gotta make sure it's good to go. Oh. Okay, I'll pick that up, I guess. Don't want to leave that there. Wait, is that? Never mind. I thought it was something else. Never. You know, uh, no. No, I can't uh, pick anything else up. Okay, that's fine. Still, I've got to admit, it's very well done. I mean, the shadows are very well done. It's a very lovely looking game. I said this the first couple of times, too, in the first time I tried to record it, but, you know, med medical set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Buzzdale. When I have cash. And when I have cash. So, never. <laughs> At least he's honest with him, so I like that. Notes on fridge. Call mom. Buy soup. Pay bills. Don't die. That's a very good list. Uh, window. Hard to get tired of this view. I mean, damn, look at that view. It is a very nice view. In all honesty. Photochemicals. Even developers in the kitchen. It's, short, it's a short road to poisoning. All great soup. <laughs> now that is the sound of an adventurous man. Gotta check everything, you know? The great apes. The great story. Swell toilet read. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. You you have your library in your toilet. That's, that's what sensible people do. That's smart. I'll wash these... I'll wash these later. Probably not. Again, he's very honest with himself, isn't he? Yeah, so I think that's everything. If I remember right. Oh, right. Everything now knows its proper place. <laughs> nice. Miss, that must be Miss Green. Okay, uh, I'll try and do the voice for this one. Sorry for the pause. Uh, excuse me, I I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Now, oh, uh, yeah, uh, so you pick what you go for, and I guess that's sort of decides what you end up getting, as it were. So, like, if you went with the first one, 
that would lead to whatever options and so on and so forth. Uh, let, let's be as nice as we can. Like, uh, at your service, Mrs. Green, how, how's your day going? Oh, uh, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancies put real pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. <laughs> Odette. Odette for the otter. Yeah, funny. Let's uh, go with the kid, you know. Get her nice and relaxed. First kid? Third, actually. Huh, must be a handful. Wow. Nah, let, let, let's go with a little joke. <laughs> wow, so I'm guessing you didn't come to ask about a babysitter. I don't understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm listening, don't want to assume anything. He may be nice, or he may be an ass. Whatever works. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. Again, let's not uh, try and uh, guess anything before we know everything. God, even when there's nothing really going on, and this is just a very, very nicely done. Uh, you try talking to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult, like it's my fault. I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Okay, so okay, so she straight up thinks he's cheating. Fair enough. I'll guess we have to make sure he, if he is or isn't. Court, we find for divorce. Tell me about the affair. I'll get the proof for it. I need pictures of some info. Let's ask if she really wants to do the whole court thing. Court, you file for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids. You gotta, you know, that feel like you're on her side, as it were. You get. I guess you can get more info that way, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. I may be talking out my ass. But yeah. I, I can't take any chances anymore. Uh, uh, has he done it and make you think he would? When did you realize he might be unfaithful? Let's go with the first one. But has he said or done anything to make you think he would? This is a separate issue. One I don't want to dig up right now. Uh, let's go with the first one. It's the, it's the kids or that. I really need to need every edge I can get. Yes, threaten to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their futures. Uh, let's go with the second one. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm finally being brave. <laughs> afraid? No, she didn't say afraid. That's the opposite of being brave. Uh, for them, at least. Uh... Uh, is he aggressive? Not, f not physically, but he has a mean temper, unpredictably. What makes you so? What makes you so certain he's had an affair? He's always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, smelling funny. What kind of smell? That's always a weird thing to, you know, bring up. Like perfume, but not mine. Alcohol and smoke. Alcohol, smoke, and something pungent. Ah, sorry. Sometimes my English is horrible. Pungent, pungent. I'll go with that. You can correct me if I'm wrong. In the comics, like sly bastards, a kind of herbal stink. That was a really weird uh, tangent, but whatever. He skipped work. I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying. Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met, or at least I thought so. How late are we talking about? Way past the kids' dinner time. I've asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Let's do this, Odette. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. And make sure you cover all those bases, y'all. Sure, what do you need to know? 
What do, uh, what does he look like? It's normally good. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean, uh, yeah, all those would work. Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and he's wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Okay, that's that's a de decent description. Square glasses, wedding band, yada yada yada. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually at work, or at home. He's never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. It says they get together after work sometimes. Okay, so obviously ask the friends, see if they know what is up. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I th think people at work call him Jez. Okay, so something to remember, you know, in case I need to use that myself. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears his suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Where does he work? At the Wolf... Wolf Bank. <laughs> wolf Bank. On uh, Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. That's just the matter of my... F that's just the matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected expenses. Please, be careful. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. Uh, yeah. I'll, I understand. I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Well, that was... something, I guess. So I've got to find... And can I just say, I look amazing right now. I mean, look at him. Now that is a man with a sense of style. Well, raccoon, but, you know, whatever. Uh, press tab to access detective menu. Okay, uh, tab. There we go. My office. Notes to self. <laughs> remember to call mom. It's not difficult to remember, just difficult to stop procrastinating. <laughs> Media is set is bricked. Again, Frankie could probably fix it, but I have to take it all the way to Fuzzdale. For that. Uh, should be easy to... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, just checking everything to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Uh, I'll just make sure I not miss anything in the house. No. Oh well. Oh, damn it. Hang on. Yeah, so uh, might as well just get on with it, huh? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, let's uh let's do this. Let's do 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 this. Oh god of it, I like the loading screen. It's oh yeah, yeah, this is cool. This, this, this is one of the things where I kept going on about how such a nice lovely game it is. I mean just look at that. I mean look in look at that. You can't see where I'm pointing, can you? Of course you can't. But no, the reflection in the pool under Lawrence uh, Laura's office, whatever. This place, right there. Ah. It's awesome, man. Uh, smells like wet. Uh, okay, Granville. Smells like wet concrete. Overpriced, fast food, and puke. I can't battleground. I know the voices aren't exactly saying the same, but deal with it. Okay, uh. What sort of voice should I go with? A squirrel? I'll go with a high. Yo, man. Uh, let's not go straight into it. Let's try and ease him into it. How's it going, fella? Just, just hanging. What's up with you? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. you could say I'm hanging too. Hang f from my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Okay, so very chill, I guess. Uh, let's go with the picture now. Take a look at this picture. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even have a hat. Why would I tell you? Well, see you. Well, that wasn't informative, but whatever. Foreman Sons. Uh, Furman. F Furman. <laughs> Furman, of course. One slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Posters. The day I bought a bike. The life of a young, handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with a dangerous man. 
and he does it on his bike. That, that's an interesting, uh, you know, trailer. Uh, not trailer, poster, but for a film, but oh well, whatever works. Hey, if it is, uh, yeah, I'll uh, do it with that voice for him. Yeah, he's a beaver. Oh, he's got a little hat and everything. Oh, it's, it's kind, of, kind of awesome. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what a rascal like you up to this fine evening. Uh, hey, Anthony, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute about Beaver? How, uh, you know, let's let's be nice. My Beaver, how, how are Estrella and the kid? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great. We've got a second lad you soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another? Wow, you guys are so lucky. Thanks. He's a big one, too. I see he's as round as a, a watermelon right now. I, so I tell her, woman, you got any bigger and I will fit you in the trunk of the car. <laughs> Great, can you answer a couple of my questions first? Yeah, um, I have a feeling that if I keep going, he'll probably keep going, but yeah, okay, let's go with that. Howie, ease up. What's so important? You can't tell a friend about, can't let a friend tell his story. Oh, okay, uh, I'm looking for a guy. Here's the photo. Seen him recently? <laughs> I don't know, Howie. I've seen so many faces. I know those scrawny swords like flashing that cash at the bat, though. Have you seen him there? I look like the I look like the kind of guy to be there. In there? It's easy to have my balls. Anyway, Howie, you're, you're scaring off my clients, you know? Alright, thanks, Antonio. See you around. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe I should have listened to his story a little more, but oh well. They did a great job of story in Vogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Hmm. Well, okay, so maybe something at the bite. Uh, Adam Simmons, the rising jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Maybe. There's the bank. Wolf Bank. Is this where Green works? Yes, pretty damn sure. Okay, let's talk to a banker. Yeah? I don't know why I went with a deep voice. I'm not too sure if that's... Is that a mouse? I think that's a mouse. Oh, there's some dogs. Oh, there's some dogs in the background. Eh, nice. Uh, yeah, anyway, so. Uh, how are you doing this pleasant evening? You folks work at the Wolf Bank. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. You folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Uh, let, let, let's go with, is Jez around? That seems like a good idea. It's Jez around. And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Assholes, me money, private detective, Howard Lauder. When was the last time you saw him? Nah, uh, let, let, let's go with the money group. That seems like a good idea. Oh, so you know him. Assholes, me money. Been looking for him everywhere. Well, say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Uh... I'll find him, make sure it doesn't happen again. Seen him today? Let, let's go with that. Yeah, but the wimp ass left early. He's got Derek's gonna split his wig. <laughs> Something happened at work? Her, heard his contract's not gonna get renewed. Has it had it coming? Uh, let's go with. Did you boy? Did you boy stand time with him outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday, until he turned into a needle leech. The bite, could he be in there now? How the F would I know? Now let's get out, Rack. I'll do just that. Ah, oh, then let's sort of around. Yeah, yay. Granville, Squirrel, there's Squirrel Ferris, I don't know if can't decide if he's shady or just terrible sense of style. <laughs> Fair enough. Caught it with Alan Blee outside the bag, man. Do the beaverous beaver, I know, right? Great contact to have in case I need a ride around the city or some fresh cabin. He, he mentioned some bar down the street and said, uh, look, if I'm trying to find green. Those three cabineers seem to be wolfbang employees. Maybe they know green. Should I ask them for his whereabouts or is it too risky? I promise or that I'd be careful. Uh, green's colleagues are an unpleasant lot. They're not big fans of jazz either. Seems like nobody is. So green left work early today and rumor has it his con contracts not getting renewed in any case they claim the bite was their after work haunt so it's worth investigating yeah okay that's that's a good idea let's 
find... Oh, this is probably it. This is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it is. I may be wrong, but the giant sign may be actually right this time. Hmm. Not, not quite fit in this fancy crown. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. Yeah, you so charm on the bouncer, who's a bear. Oh, okay. Entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. <gasps> oh my god. So offensive. Why can't a raccoon go into some place that he likes and eats the rubbish? Wait, no. That's a stereotype too. <gasps> I've become what I hated. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, let's go with the call. call. A friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. Yeah, of course. Get lost now. I'll bash your head in. All right. Jeez. Okay. So that can work. Hmm. Oh, I can. Sh I can run. <gasps> oh my God. Power. Running powers. Activate. Look at my strong walk. That is the walk of a great man. Well, raccoon, whatever. Let's go in the alley. See if there's something going on. Larry, let's talk to Larry. Howard, well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Uh, Larry? No. <coughs> God, I haven't been doing the voices for long and already sort of messing up with my throat. Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who are you calling old man? Oh, you old rascal? Same old can of complain. What's going on with you? Let, let, let's go with the first one. That seems like a jokey way to go about it. Oh, that's another raccoon. Oh, okay. Okay. Didn't realize that. I thought he was something else. Don't know why. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Plus these rags like don't help my appearance any. I didn't... Uh... Ba -ba -ba. Let's go with uh yeah that one. I didn't expect you to didn't expect to see you here to be honest. Well, who really expects to see anyone of knowing it in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? Wait, do you live here? That seems like a question to ask. Live? Have you seen the tough crowd here? <laughs> I live at the bridge now. It's but it's not as bad as it sounds, I guess. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help you in any way? Yeah, be there for your friends, guys. Gotta be there. Not really. Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an other guy around here recently? What did he What did he do? Or things to his... Uh, can't tell. Client confidentiality. You know, gotta be... Gotta keep that safe. Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? Uh... Well... I go with a photo. Yeah, here's a photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bounce won't let me. I think I know where to look. Uh, I got a lead, but the bounce won't let me into the fight. Tough break. It, it's, it's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said you guys are an otter? That's weird. Uh, where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a maybe if I was a handsome cat. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh how oh how you may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. In all serious in all seriousness, I I need it. What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't I don't entirely know how know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Uh, what's, what sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like, hive and shadow fang. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something called Monkey Butt, who comes up with these names. It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Uh, Monkey Butt, yeah, that seems kind of weird. Yeah, what is this new thing's the shit? Though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stank thing. Does it ha have a kind of herbal stink? I have no first hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. And you think John this Johnny guides help? 
might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the fight? Owners of Bloodworth, so a lot of rumors floating around about the whole, whole deal. Uh, what kind of rumors is that? What kind of rumors? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the other killed so she could take over. Anything that holds water? People say she's taken back the whole operation, piece by piece. Starting with the bite. Alright, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay, so let's. No, that's not it. Let's go over what we found. Squirrel, uh, Anthony, yeah, bank employees. Okay, so obviously, here we go. Bite bouncer, Ali. Oh, here we go, Larry. Oh wow, there is a lot of here. A lot here. Uh, ran into my old neighbor, Larry. Damn, this takes me back. We used to take my bike and ride all the way up to the greenery to steal apples. We stayed in touch after his family moved away. I lost track of him after the dun dunce cases. I was buried in work for months. He's homeless now. Uh, uh, told Larry I need to get into the bite. He says Johnny will probably know a way since he's friends with the club's, club's staff. So I need to find some squirrel in a leather jacket. Sounds familiar. Have I seen him already? Yeah, it's probably the guy from earlier, so that's good, I guess. Sounds like the bite is the drug spot on Granville. Open to Larry, Johnny pushes everything from Shadowfang to Hype and some new stuff called Monkey Butt, which literally stinks like shit mixed with grass. Could that be the herbal stink or dead noses on green? That is a good point. And also, with that, and add in the fact that he's ta uh, borrowing money from everyone, well, sort of paints a picture. Of note, the bite's owner is Bloodsworth. Bloodsworth were a rather notorious crime family a couple of years back. Then she had hit the fans, some deaths and arrests lately. They were pretty much wiped off the map. Perhaps this cousin's trying to restore the family business, so we form of glories. And again, maybe she's just running a sleazy club. Okay, so we learned some stuff. So the jazz guy, or uh, yeah, Jeremy Green. So Jeremy G Green is being shady. Uh, wife is upset that she might, that he might be, you know, uh, unfaithful, infidelity, yada yada yada. And now, along with the fact that she says he stinks like a herbal mix, and with the fact that he's borrowing money from his friends at bank and he has troubles at work. It could be possible that he may have a new drug problem? I mean, we'll have to see, obviously, but that seems to, to be the heads and tails of it. I just realized that was an unintentional pun, but I love it. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll leave it here, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button uh, if you like the video, kind of the reason why it's called like. Uh, leave comment in the comment section below, and until next time, adios amigos.